The afterlife's mystery perplexes humanity across cultures and time. Most faiths proffer elaborate visions of post-mortem realms where newly liberated souls face judgment, torment, annihilation or eternal contentment. Buddhism approaches this question through a lens seeking liberation from suffering rooted in impermanence. For seminal 13th-century Japanese Buddhist reformer Nichiren Daishonin, life after death cannot be severed from the continuum of lifetimes governed by causal karma. His radical teachings unpack the Lotus Sutra's truth that all beings possess Buddha nature. This indestructible seed guarantees countless rebirths until ultimate enlightenment banishes illusion forever. No eternal hell or soul's destruction. Nichiren overturned rigid doctrines of karma dictating fixed outcomes after death. Instead he taught that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo activates the Buddha nature's boundless wisdom, energy and compassion. This crushes fate's chains, altering destiny across past, present and future lifetimes. He declared that inferior doctrines preach hell as an eternal abode. But that is not really true, because the power of the ten mystical phenomena will surely wipe out the evil paths of existence. No hell lasts forever when Buddha nature's insulation from karmic retribution burns delusion's root. Even demonic realms should not terrify as here too dwells indestructible Buddhahood awaiting awakening through the Lotus Sutra's gift transcending causality. Nichiren asked, where could one possibly find a place of eternal suffering for him who holds a lamp in the dark night of ignorance to take refuge in the Lotus Sutra? That lamp is Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, transcending despair over loss. Genshin, 120th High Priest of Nichiren Shosha Buddhism, wrote that for lost loved ones, it is meaningless to worry about where the deceased person has gone. Yet Nichiren himself wept bitterly at his mother's passing, before transcending filial sadness. He knew their bond inseparable, as shared mission resounds through infinite lifetimes. All part in grief, yet must awaken to enlightenment where meetings endure beyond body and age. Nichiren urged steadfastness so others may be born in the pure land of Eagle Peak. This was the teaching he was imparting to his disciples when he died. Though worlds and lives pass, treasured bonds continue where true liberation dawns. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo thunderously calls forth that indestructible land here on earth. Reuniting with the deceased through shared karma. While mourning his father's loss, Nichiren revealed a transcendent view of relationships surviving death through karmic continuity. He wrote, Father and son have been enemies in lifetimes past. Why, then, do I grieve so pitifully? Because my father loved me in this lifetime. In lifetimes to come we may be enemies again. Realizing this, I should continue to repay the debt of gratitude I owe to my father. Through Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, virtually any karma may rend. But noble bonds deserve honor exceeding time's constraints. By chanting for loved ones into future lifetimes, their Buddha nature ignites through shared Dai Moku. This reunites relationships, even if hatreds plagued former lives. With compassion equally for ones who passed or may oppose us now, enemies transform into comrades advancing together toward enlightenment. Karmic Voyage Between Six Life States While other faiths posit unique destinations for souls of dead saints or sinners, Nichiren Buddhism sees ongoing karmic evolution across six life states according to causes made. The Ten Factors, a Nichiren text, describes how karma propels rebirth's continuity. If one fails to restrain these ten evil acts and five deadly sins, one will inevitably enter the evil paths of existence and remain there for many kalpas without ever attaining Buddhahood. The six paths of unenlightened realm comprise heaven, joy from giving, humanity, anger, asuras, animality, beasts, hunger, pratas, and hellish suffering. But chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo creates value enabling one to dwell in realms conditioning Buddha nature's awakening through wisdom or noble deeds. Glorious or miserable, each life then offers springboards to enlightenment, as Nichiren's disciple Niko explained. Depending on one's deeds, one will be born into one of the six paths of unenlightened existence, 
or into one of the ten stages of security, humanity, or enlightened beings. Thus, Nichiren Buddhism urges perseverance right now to tap hidden Buddha nature, rather than bank on pleasant rebirths fortuitously awarding liberation after long delays. The Ten Worlds, Potential for Buddhahood This cascading process unfolds through the Ten Worlds Doctrine, uniquely clarified by Nichiren through the Lotus Sutra's insight into Buddha nature's universality. Every being passes through and contains potential for both delusions depths and enlightenment summit without exception. Conditioned by biological and karmic rhythms, beings proceed through realms where base to divine natures intermingle, ever able to manifest higher through causes made in thought, word or deed. Negative karma triggers lower tendencies while chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo fosters transcendence toward Buddha wisdom omnipresent in life's oceanic flux. Hell benignly subdues evil to prepare higher ascents. Animality develops rudimentary virtue under humanity's compassionate tutelage. Like lotus blossoms erupting from mud into dazzling glory, the Buddha nature journeys through and ultimately conquers all illusions hindering life's highest purpose. For Nichiren, no existence bars this seed's flowering. Only time and causes differentiate soul's pace climbing the single vehicle to perfect enlightenment. Attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime. Finally, Nichiren Buddhism departs from notions of salvation bestowed upon devotees only after death. Based on the Lotus Sutra's revelation of innate Buddhahood, Nichiren urged followers to manifest that state without awaiting posthumous ascents to elevated plains or pure lands after death's curtain falls. He writes, It is useless to wait until death. We must attain enlightenment in our present form, because opportunities in lifetime after lifetime are not fixed and assured. Through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, spiritual merits amassed from this and coming lives coalesce to unlock the highest condition now. The process of becoming Buddha aims beyond fleeting fortune in temporal realms or fortuitous final births culminating in enlightenment. Nichiren declared one can attain Buddhahood in one's present form through the merits of Myoho Renge Kyo. Sustained practice summons this life's potential apex. Thus the true pure land is neither deferred nor distant, but evident wherever resounds the mystic law's call stirring Buddha nature from tranquil depths to dramatize eternity in each golden moment. Ultimately, for Nichiren Daishonin life and death interweave within the living mandala of boundless awakening.